With BuildBox, you can create specific paths for both your character and objects in your game. If your character or object is on this path, it will ignore all of the game physics, including gravity and speed, until it's done following the path. Here's how it works. First, grab the path icon from the logic section of the asset bar on the left, and drag it into your scene. To draw a path, simply click the large green plus sign, and drag to the next position. You can do this process as many times as you like to extend the path. You can also edit your path by clicking and dragging any of the small green circles. When you have clicked a single point to highlight it, you'll also notice two small plus signs are created on the left and on the right. By clicking these plus signs, you can break this segment into smaller parts. This is especially useful if you're attempting to make a smooth circular path. To delete a point, simply select it and click the delete or backspace key on your keyboard. With the path logic piece selected, you'll have the following options in the right hand options bar. Position is where the path is located. Search radius is how many pixels close a character or object has to be in order for it to start down the path. Speed is how fast the character or object will move when on the path. Attraction force is the amount of pull exerted on a character or object being attracted to the path. The keep velocity option is only affected in single play mode. Keep velocity decides how the character or object speed will be affected when it reaches the end of the path and exits. If you turn keep velocity on, it will exit with the same speed designated with the speed option above when it leaves the path. If turned off, it will return back to its normal speed immediately after exiting the path. Image direction is only affected in ping pong mode. If turned on, the character or object will mirror its image direction when returning back down the path. This is especially useful when creating paths for enemies in platformer style games. The play mode dropdown gives you three different options. Single, which means your character or object move to the end of the path one single time and then exit the path. Ping pong at the bottom means that when the character or object reaches the end of the path, it will immediately be sent back to the beginning of the path. This makes a ping pong effect that will last forever. And loop is similar to ping pong, but with one major difference. When the character or object gets to the end of the path, they will magically reappear at the very beginning of the path and travel down it again. Like ping pong, this mode will make the element continue this process eternally. And finally, we have the affected asset. Here you can choose what asset can follow this path. The default setting is all, which will affect all characters and objects in your game. But you could choose just characters or just assets to narrow that down further. That's paths, an extremely easy way to add some variation in the movement of your characters and objects in BuildBox. Thanks for watching.